Hey, it's me again, Fox. I'm a henchman for Dr. Apogee, and my video blog is about that. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these intros are just the same words in a slightly different order. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, so as you can see, I'm still shooting here in the base transportation hub. And it occurs to me that I said before this was the base transportation hub, but I never really explained what that meant or told you anything about it. So I guess I'll do that now. So. Yeah, up there you can see the air car ports, and there's the tram track, and there's Masami again for some reason. Uh, hi, what am I doing wrong now? What makes you think you're doing something wrong? Well, usually when you come here it's to tell me I'm doing something wrong. You know, I need makeup, I need a new wardrobe. Uh, although, honestly, I always assume I'm doing something wrong anyway. It's usually true. Well, you'd be happy to know that I came here today to tell you I did something wrong. I don't know how to respond to that. Apparently, it was a mistake to move your blog to the transportation hub. Next week, I want you to return to that corridor. Really? Why? I mean, not that I'm complaining. I actually like shooting the corridor better. I guess mostly because I could sit down. The change in location didn't do well with the focus groups. You have focus groups? Of course. Without them, public relations would just be guesswork. Yeah, so what, you've just been randomly interviewing people? I, I don't get how this works. Well, Dr. Epigee's mind control and memory alteration techniques allow us to make the focus groups easier to run. We can use the same people over and over and get fresh results because they forgot what they just saw. Then we return them to their former lives, and they have no knowledge whatsoever of participating in the focus groups. So what, you've been kidnapping people to use in focus groups? No, of course not. Well, not me personally. And I wouldn't call it kidnapping. Exactly. Uh, well, the process is that we get large groups of people, take them to secret locations, and they participate in focus groups. Yeah, that kind of sounds to me like kidnapping. A actually, if you're taking people to a location against their will, isn't that the dictionary definition of kidnapping? Well, I didn't say it wasn't kidnapping. I said I wouldn't call it kidnapping. Word choice is very important in directing public opinion. Uh, anyway, since when did Dr. Apogee have memory-altering techniques? Oh. For quite a while. Oh, do you remember your me uh, mission in Mogadishu? Where you stumbled upon that ancient crypt? Uh, no. Exactly. Uh, okay, so, so back to the same corridor as before? Yes. I personally think you would have been much better off if we started here and gotten a better response. You know, publics don't like change. They like to see things the way they were. Yeah, I, I don't think I have much of a public. Oh, well, we're hoping to change that, but one step at a time. Right. Oh, and may I ask you for one more thing before next week? Okay. Get a haircut. I, I actually did get a haircut recently. I know it may not look like it because I guess maybe it wasn't a very good haircut. Who cut your hair? Surely that's not Louis's work. I don't know who that is. Well, whoever cut your hair, I hope you didn't pay too much for it. I actually, I, I, I cut it myself. I, I was in the base pharmacy and I saw these scissors that said they were for cutting hair. Well, the label on the scissors said that. The scissors themselves didn't say that. But I figured, hey, if I got these scissors, maybe I could cut my own hair and I could have it look exactly the way I want it. So you want your hair to look like that? Well... Okay, I guess it's maybe not precisely the way I envisioned it. You know you can get a free haircut on the base from Louis. Yeah, I still don't know who that is. I, I know Dr. Grease built that haircutting robot. Yes, yes, that's Louis. The robot's name is Louis. Oh, I, I didn't know the robot had a name. Well, why wouldn't he have a name? I don't know. I'm not saying robots can't have names or don't deserve names. I just, I just didn't know it. Just get a haircut. Okay. Seriously, before next week, a real haircut. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're done for today. Yeah, I guess I'm done for today, too. So, uh, I guess I will see you next week. <laughs>
back at the corridor and with shorter hair. Thank you.